Hey, this is Yan Huang, and today I'm going to show you how to scan a uh, file for viruses. Uh, now, what you want to do is type in to Google virus total, and you want to click onto the first link here. It's going to take you to the virus total website. And what I have on my desktop is I created a blank text file and renamed it as virus.exe. Now, this is a false positive. It should not trigger any of these, but for demonstration purposes, I just want to... Uh, uh, show you how it works. So once you're on the website, you want to click on choose file and then I can select virus.exe, click on scan and I'm going to click on reanalyze because I already ran it before. Now uh, since this is, is just a blank text file that's named virus.exe, it should not tr trigger any of these uh, as false negatives. Um, sometimes you would download maybe any kind of software, maybe the file name looks sketchy, uh, but actually isn't, um, especially if you are uh, in the space of maybe SEO software or any of the Black Hat software. Um, uh, this would definitely be a site that I would run any kind of software uh, in that kind of fashion or nature uh, before actually running it because you don't want to have the risk of your computer catching a virus. Now, uh, I don't have any that would actually trigger one of these to be read on my computer. Um, but let me just give you an overview of what this uh, uh, service does. So, Virus Total, uh, what they do is all of these are different antivirus softwares. Uh, so, what they'll do is they'll scan through each of their libraries uh, and definitions uh, of of viruses that, that they have within each software and if any of them uh, triggers a response then I would probably not run the software or really do a lot of research. Now there are there are cases where it will trigger a false uh, positive among some of these. Um, even if you are a let's say uh, systems administrator um, you, you probably don't need this but I have in many cases downloaded a backup file where uh, it does trigger one of these responses. Now I know for a fact that those are legitimate files, so um, it's not foolproof. Uh, once in a while you will see a false negative, but if you're downloading a file where you're not really familiar uh, of the source, I definitely re would not install it if it triggers any of these uh, libraries. So these libraries um, are, using this website is a lot more effective than let's say if you ran it against just AdAware or just Bit Defender, or just Komodo, or just any of these, including Symantec, uh, McAfee, and all the other different antivirus softwares out there. This one scan, will scan all of the major uh, antivirus software libraries uh, to, uh, to, to run the check. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have, be sure to like this video, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, post a comment below, don't post any viruses, Thank you very much for watching and thank you for subscribing.